sailing, sailing down the river, sailing down the river of dreams. I'm sailing down the river, but it seems that I don't know where I'm going, or when the day is through. Back home to you. Hi, and uh, welcome to Sarah Lynn Sailing Homestead Edition. Today we're going to be looking at our Thomas Skid Steer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The uh, Thomas Skid Steer, uh, I don't know if you can see that uh, very well on the video was manufactured in New Brunswick, Canada. So it's a Canadian made uh, skid steer. And I was fortunate enough to uh, find a bucket for it made by uh, Grit Equipment, which is also uh, made in Canada. So this is a real Canadian uh, outfit you've got here. Now these were originally designed and manufactured for uh, the potato trade. They were looking for uh, a good, strong, solid piece of equipment uh, for uh, the potato industry in uh, New Brunswick and in Prince Edward Island. And so this gentleman, Thomas, uh, decided he was gonna make these uh, uh, skid steers along with other agricultural equipment. Uh, Thomas eventually went out of business but a few years ago, uh, it started back up again, and so now they have, uh, they're manufacturing uh, mini skid steers, and they're in business again in uh, New Brunswick with distributors all through North America. So you can get parts for these, and you can get service for them. Uh, you can also download the uh, service manuals um, off of the internet and get in valuable information uh, on this product. So, and again, it's got a good strong uh, Kubota engine, 43 horse, auxiliary transmission cooler. So it runs along pretty good. It's a good old tough machine. So the first thing you want to do before you start any machine is do a cursory inspection uh, of the unit and you're looking for oil leaks, uh, chafed hoses, anything that just looks out of place, you know, that makes sure all these fittings are, are good. Make sure that your bucket is attached. Just a little quick overview of the machine. Again, before you start. So now we want to check the fluids. First thing we want to do is check the oil. Make sure we have enough oil in the engine. The last thing you want to do is tell your boss that you forgot to check the oil and uh, hopefully you can see that on the, uh, on the camera. So that's halfway between the two, two markings and that's fine. So there's good oil in there. You don't want to overfill it as much as you don't want to underfill it. And then down here is your minimum oil level, or sorry, maximum oil level and minimum oil level. So when you're filling it up, you open up the top one and wait till it starts to dribble out of there, shut it off, then you know it's full. This is the uh, radiator. It's full, fluid's nice and green. So it's nice and new. And we close up our, our hatch. And away we go. So we're just getting into the machine there now. So we've got this nice, uh, nice foot pad here and a nice landing pad over here. And in we go. So we're 
in the cab, we're going to go through our starting procedure. So to start this machine, we want to put our fuel lever forward. I want to turn my machine, my key counterclockwise. You'll hear a click. And there's another little click. If I want to, if it's a little bit colder outside, I'm going to do this again. You hear the first click. And that's the second click. And that's going to uh, uh, cycle the, the uh, glow plugs. And then we simply start it. So it's a nice 43 horse uh, Kubota engine starts off really nice. I want to bring down my safety bar. There's little levers up here. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. If for some reason the machine stalls, uh, you know, maybe you take a you ram it into a pile of dirt or something and it stalls it. Again, go through the same procedure. Push your lever forward. But this time, because the bar is down, we want to press this button up here, this emergency uh, uh, start button, and just start it up. So let's, let's review the pedals. Hopefully you can see them from where you are. So if, if, I, told my, if I heel back, my control arms are going to go up. If I toe down, then the arms go down. On the right side, if I heel back, my bucket tilts back. And if I toe forward, my bucket tilts forward. Now each bucket is different, so you're going to have to figure out where level is so that you're not gouging or whatever you're doing. But that's just part of learning how to use the machine. So now we have a middle pedal right here, and that runs your auxiliary power over here. So going forward is one side, and the positive side, and healing back, the healing back is the uh, other side put this back on. Now we have our two controllers here. And by pushing, pushing them both forward, I go forward, pushing them both back, I go back. If I push forward on the right, it'll go left, and if I push forward on the left, the left it'll go right. So pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward and standard. You don't have to whip it around, and that's pretty well it for the direction and everything else. One of the things is uh, for safety reasons, and there's a little sign. I don't know if you can see it right there. Never enter or leave the machine with the engine running. So if I, if I get in out of this machine, the only place I can step is on these pedals to get out. And if I accidentally, as I'm getting out, hit, hit a pedal, I, I could injure myself, pop the door off, do all sorts of nasty stuff. So when you want to get out of this machine, pull your fuel lever back, turn your key off, and exit the machine.
just a poor boy trying to get a hand, trying to find my heart of gold in that promised land. Take me home on that graceful bit of steam, sing me to sleep with a lullaby of your wings. Tell me that you're lonely and I know just how you feel. Take me home on that graceful river to see. The rain came down like sorrow, washed away my soul, left me in the barren lands withered up and old. Take me home on that graceful river to see. Sing me to sleep with the lullaby of your wings. Tell me that you're lonely and I know just how you feel. Take me home on that graceful river of steam. Say you are a poor boy wandering out alone. You'll be lost forever, son, finding your way home. Take me home, that graceful river to steep. Sing me to sleep with the lullaby of your wings. Tell me that you're lonely and I know just how you feel. Take me home on that graceful river of steam. Take me home on that graceful river of steam.